All right, I'm back with another little quick tutorial. Maybe hopefully help others out with uh, some wiring with your Bronco 6G uh, models. This is Everglades edition. So I put this Rough Country um, bumper on and uh, did all the wiring and everything like that. I just finally got the wiring done. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I've been on a couple trips with it already, but um, <clears throat> so you can do the wiring on this Rough Country, which is kind of cool. Put it like six, six inch slim, you know, LEDs right there, two there. And then you can even put pods on the corners like I did there. That's just some basic Harbor Freight. Pod lights are actually quite nice, about as good as rigid. They look like rigids actually. Some cheap eBay ones. Um, but hey, that's work, it works, that's all, that's all you really need. So there's a couple of videos on YouTube, of course, about auxiliary, I mean, there's several actually, but not many about how to wire up the rear aux switches or wire up lights to the rear with the rear pass-through wire that goes to your aux switches. That's like a better way of putting it. So in this case, you know, I put a Rough Country on, did all the, re had to rewire everything. Rough Country's instructions are pretty good about how to do that, especially when you have parking sensors. And in my case, I added lights. So first thing you gotta do, wire, like I said, wire that up, you know, make sure wires aren't touching metal, use electrical tape and, and uh, butt connectors that have, that can be, Heat it up and you know the heat shrunk type and the holes the wire together real good that's what kind of i use and then in this case i just used the wire bundle i had you know i already had the sheathing on it like that and um <clears throat> i'm going to fish it up through here where the tailgate one already goes i'm going to zip tie it to that and then you got to pull this panel back you got to pull this panel back snap all those snaps out snap this panel out right here to get access to back here so you can fish this wire through here and uh another thing i want to have to do is i got a real low license plate relocation bracket light i gotta run as well just remember that so anyways that's that's how you run it there and this you gotta run that wire to where the pass-through comes in where you can get access to the pass-through behind here behind the rear seat and you can see there's an orange and white wire other videos i've seen doesn't really show it that well phone should focus on that pretty well and got to get that orange and white wire splice it to the wires you have running back to the to the um, lights in your rear bumper in my case also this one had you know this wiring bundle that I, I used or cannibalized from another some of the lights that I got had um, you know the eye eye connections basically for a ground so I just grounded it right there on the seat belt um, connection I believe it's related to the seat belt and, uh, and then just left the fuse inline fuse on it you can take it off if you want to but I left it on um, but that's where I grounded it right there just remove that bolt it's a 10 millimeter bolt 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter head pull that bolt out and uh, put your little round ground connector right there and just fasten it back down of course it's starting to rain so I'm gonna have to snap all that back together. And then you gotta run up here, and this is another hard part, is that, um, turn the AC off. Um, <clears throat> you gotta find that orange and white wire again. Of course, it passes through, down through here, I'm sure, comes up this way, comes in right there. Comes in way back there. And it's, it's not easy to see that one back there back behind that big orange one you see up front and if you depend on the model you may have a big blue one too they yeah, maybe related to B&O um, stereo upgrade which is a, what I saw in another video but got to get that wire splice it to the white wire the other white pass-through wire right here um, and so the orange orange and white pass-through wire and splice it to the white wire right here, which will run to the aux switches in in the uh, engine compartment. So don't don't get on that wire. This wire, this gray and orange, that's the one. That's the wire that runs up to your A pillar to roof lights, if that's what you want to do. Um, so you, that's where you would connect if you do uh, roof lights. So 
moving on right along try to make this video as quick as possible uh so here you go here you go engine compartment mr lizard uh you see them all over the place here in south carolina but uh anyways then you get up here to where all the aux switch wires are and i've already i'm already tapped into three or four of them already um aux six aux six five four three are all taken up by lights on my oracle ditch lights it's the only ditch lights you can basically do with a everglades edition because of the snorkel on the other side i've got pod lights down here it was actually a rough country uh drl um pod lights and i got a fair lead mount to put some a couple other um pod lights those are actually harbor freight specials basically rigid and um so i got so i already got four aux switch wires accounted for and being used so that left me with the green and brown one here that you see and that is actually a 15 amp which i may be drawing a little bit more amperage with those two sets of lights back there than i would be on these uh these other three lights that i have hooked up up front here other light sets so that's what I'm doing, using this one. But it was basically the only one I had left. <laughs> um, but then the only one I have, the only one I'll have left is Aux One, which is a 30 amp, which I'll probably never use. Um, so, anyways, get the, this 15 amp one. Aux. This is Aux Two. That's the green and brown, and to the white pass-through wire. So splice those to connect those two, two together. And I already grounded it back in the back, so I don't need to ground it here like I did for all my other ones. <clears throat> um, so that's pretty much it as you can see the lights work um back there you know double check all your wiring uh, make sure that things work i i use like a, a wireless um screwdriver you know battery to when i'm putting my lights on i use that to ground a negative on a little a little rechargeable battery like that from or like a wireless drill to test them before i start running every all the wires and everything like that and of course test them again before you heat shrink them and make everything permanent so that's uh that's how i did it hope that helps you all out and uh have fun with your bronco